It's such a pleasure to be here and an honor to serve with Judy as co-chair of this prestigious event celebrating 50 years of inspiring kids. Absolutely, Pam. I couldn't agree more. This room is filled with so many people who have helped J.A. grow from its humble beginnings in 1965, serving just a few hundred high school students in after-school J.A. company programs to reaching over 93,000 students, kindergarten to 12th grade, through a wide variety of programs that will be highlighted throughout tonight's fabulous program. You know, Judy, I have worked with Jay over 26 years when serving as chair of the board, and I'm sure you are just as excited as I am about the innovative new ways Jay comes up with to meet the ever-changing needs of our business and education communities while still maintaining the three pillars of what kids always need, financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and work readiness. Oh yes, as the current co-chair of the board, it is exciting time for all of us. I am so grateful for the thousands of volunteers supplying their time, talent, and treasure to helping J.A. reach more students every year. Great suit there. You have really good taste. Thank you. <laughs> we have a future <laughs> University of South Florida bull here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Love the colors. Love the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the real co-chairs of this event, Pam Muma and Judy Genshaft. Well, as usual, that's a big act to follow. <laughs> Thank you, girls, for a wonderful job. As our cute little counterparts were saying, good evening. Judy and I would like to welcome you to the 50th anniversary celebration of Junior Achievement of Tampa Bay. We are both so very proud to be part of this extraordinary organization and have enjoyed co-chairing this event for you tonight. As Junior Achievement of Tampa Bay celebrates 50 years of inspiration, we would like to thank our anniversary sponsors, title sponsors, Wells Fargo, along with presenting sponsors, Bright House, Bright House Networks, GTE Financial, Pam and Les Muma, Public Supermarkets Charity, Raymond James, Tampa Bay Times, the University of South Florida, go Bulls. And for the delicious meal we are about to enjoy, Outback Steakhouse and Bloomin' Brands. Pleasure to serve as tonight's MC, along with Orlando, for the gala celebrating 50 years of inspiration. We'd like to thank again all of our sponsors. JA does such a great job bringing work readiness and financial literacy to students, and tonight is about recognizing those tireless supporters who help make Junior Achievement a success in our community. Orlando, have you ever been to JA Bistown? I sure have. I was the CEO of Raymond James, which meant I was the boss. Just like Mr. James. I like being the boss because I got to do all the work and tell people what to do. The experience taught me how to be responsible, how to be a strong leader, and the value of teamwork to get the job done. It was tiring being an adult for just one day, but I very much look forward to working hard and making money. I don't look forward to paying the bills, though. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Wells Fargo is pleased uh, to be celebrating with you 50 years of junior achievement um, in the Tampa Bay area. And Unbelievable. Our, our company and team members are committed to helping the people in our communities uh, we serve succeed financially. And, and that's why um, we are so proud to be a longstanding supporter of Junior Achievement. So we applaud Junior Achievement really for their commitment to the youth uh, to help them achieve long-term economic success. So the two of our visions line up so perfectly. By serving as positive role models, you inspire us and build hope for the endless possibilities that are available to us through the free enterprise system. Now, as myself, as a college-bound high school junior, I've always had this intense desire to learn. I believe that coming from a background of limited means can actually make you more aware of opportunity and serve as a motivator to act in your community, which is exactly what happened two summers ago when I was invited to participate in STEM Tech, 
which is a career program that offers exploration and work readiness training in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And junior Achievement has helped me develop the other necessary skills and attitudes that I would need to succeed in any workplace and in life in general. The biggest lesson I have learned is that hard work really does pay off. So thank you, Junior Achievement. I'm very grateful for the time that I've spent in our programs, and I definitely look forward to the years to come. Since 1965, Junior Achievement the Tampa Bay Area has been empowering young people to own their economic success through the implementation of financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and work readiness programs. Junior Achievement is dedicated to providing students with engaging, hands-on economic education programs and experiential learning that encourages us students to build self-confidence and motivates us to achieve our personal, educational, and career goals. And over these past 50 years, thousands of businesses and educators and volunteers have joined forces to impact more than one million Tampa Bay Area students. And many of you are here with us tonight to celebrate. Thank you so much. Good evening, Alex. How are you? I'm doing fine, Gus. It's so nice to see you all here. Here comes the photographer. I'd like to take a picture of this group. Seriously, lesson Mike? It's been a great 50 years for junior achievement. We all share the passion of helping our youth find success, especially when it comes to their education. Right, Alex? That's so very important, Gus. Growing up, my daddy loved to teach me how to write checks and balance a checkbook. As a former banker, I've seen the need and believe that all kids should have the same opportunities I've had. <laughs> Gus, Gus, Les and I are so pleased to be able to share in your vision of educating our youth through our support of all junior achievement programs, particularly the Mooma J Biz Town. Your vision has gone global with the openings of J.A. Biz Towns all over the United States, Japan, and now Jamaica. J.A. has a great way of educating our youth through their financial literacy, work readiness, and entrepreneurship programs. I'll find a way to pay for it, and we'll all have fun doing it. Golf, anyone? <laughs> Mike, you do a great job year after year with that. I like explaining the term philanthropy. It's a Greek one that means love of humanity. Of all things that I have done in my life, what I am most proud of is what I have done to improve lives of others. As recipients of Junior Achievement's Gold Leadership Award, I think it's something that I share with you all. I always think it's better to teach a hungry man how to fish than give him the fish. Junior Achievement programs do that for our youth. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the screens for a short video. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce President of Junior Achievement USA, Mr. Jack Kozakowski. As we celebrate 50 years of inspiration, what better way to capture the essence of Junior Achievement than to present one of our highest and most prestigious honors, the National Gold Leadership Award, to a Tampa Bay Area leader it's not surprising that the J Tampa Bay Area will now have a grand total of six National Gold Leadership Award recipients, one of the largest numbers of recipients anywhere in the United States. Joining this impressive group, we recognize Mr. Tom James tonight for his dedication and support to Junior Achievement of Tampa Bay. You know, uh, it's great to join this group, this august group that has contributed so much to junior achievement in the Tampa Bay area. I can tell you that I know all of them very well, uh, not just through junior achievement, but because they participate in almost everything in the Tampa Bay area and have made a huge difference uh, to all of us uh, by having been present here uh, and been involved in things like JA. And I want to thank all of JA across the country for what they do to educate our children. And we've seen many examples tonight. In JA, it's all about the kids. And if we don't give back, and I'm preaching to the already converted, I know. <laughs> if we don't give back, we're just not going to have a great United States economy. And so it's very important that we remind our kids how 
important business is to this country. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to have been partnered with J.A. all these years. In closing, please welcome J.A. Vistown alum, Cade Larson. Hold on to me as we go. As we roll down. Although these waves, they string us along Just know you're not alone I'm gonna make this place your Thank you.